Welcome to Humphreys of Henley TV, countryside concierge at its finest. And we are in the heart of the Berkshire countryside today at the beautiful Highclere Castle. As you can see behind me, the sun is shining on this magnificent building. The exterior was designed and built uh, mainly in the uh, mid 19th century. We've also got a real treat because Lady Carnarvon has been kind enough to spend some time with us, walking through the rooms, telling us some of the secrets and the history and the stories that make this building so magical. Prior to its rise to fame as a result of its starring role in the series Downton Abbey, Highclere Castle was probably best known for the incredible collection of uh, relics and so on that the fifth Earl of Carnarvon brought back from his um, constant explorations in Egypt. He was passionate about the country, the history, the culture, and he and his great friend Howard Carter really set the tone for how to, how to explore and find the very best. They really did struggle in the first few years, but then in 1922 they opened a small window and discovered the startings of Tutankhamun's tomb, which was quite an extraordinary find, particularly when you think it was close on 200 years ago. Now when you come to the castle, there is a whole exhibition that runs in the cellars beneath the castle and it is magical. It's, it's a story really beautifully told as well. There are lots of um, explanatory boards and so on as, as you walk through and then you come to the ultimate, uh, this a magnificently painted and decorated uh, tomb that, that, that they discovered about a hundred to, to hundred years ago, <laughs> sorry. Now Lady Carnarvon, as she said during our chat, uh, is researching a book so you will be able to find out a huge amount more about the fifth Earl of Carnarvon when she releases it, uh, which will be absolutely wonderful. But it's a really fascinating insight um, into uh, the life of the pharaohs and, um, and Egypt all that time ago. And there is, and I have been reliably told it is very good, a rather fabulous exhibition at the Saatchi Gallery going on as we speak. Um, so if you are really interested, you can enjoy the best of of both worlds. Um, obviously before the fame of, of Downton, Highclere was most uh, known for the treasures of Tutankhamun and the fifth Earl and all of his activities. Um, at the exhibition is still very much um, uh, part of the, the tours, is, is that right? It is. Well, about 2000, 2008, Jordi and my husband and I created the Egyptian exhibition. So it was before Downton and it's, it's been going very well for us. It's the first global world media event was the discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb in 1922. Lord Carnarvon, Highclere Castle were front page news all around the world. It was extraordinary. And I used to write about it thinking, I wonder what it was like to live through that. Yeah. And then in a way, Downton Abbey has obviously become another world media event in a different way. So the fifth Earl worked out in Egypt for some 16 years. He'd go out there through two or three months a year to live, work, stay out there. And he became completely passionate about the people, the works of art, the architecture and he had worked with his colleague Howard Carter who he met in 1909 mm -hmm. and then employed thereafter so Carter was really Lord Carnarvon's right hand man and they had a really close friendship and a joint love obsession almost with pharaonic Egypt and then of course in 1922 against all the odds yes. these two extraordinary <laughs> Englishmen discovered the only royal tomb to have been discovered intact so it's um, been a, an amazing journey for us, trying to recreate that path to the discovery. We have nothing from Tutankhamun's tomb here, but we have some of the antiquities from um, Lord Carnarvon's early collection still here. Right. And then you go through and explore the tomb and explore the path to discovery, which are not with their um, replicas, but I hope it's a really fun journey to try to understand and get a sense of what those two men must have felt when they opened the first little window and looked into the tomb of Tutankhamun. And funnily enough, I've just started to write the first of a biography of Lord Carnarvon. So that's oh, my next project. Are, yeah. you, are you? Oh, fabulous. So when do you think that might? It needs to come out for autumn 1922, 2022 for the centenary. <laughs> yes, <it is. laughs> 
Wonderful. So that's what I'm aiming oh, another for. Another one to look forward to. <laughs> I know, a bit more work to do, yeah, rather a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's a great story, and it's, it's a story amazing. about learning so much and that sense of a of, I don't know, a glimpse into such a different civilization, but it was there for 5,000 years, at least. And if we all disappeared from the earth today, I don't think anyone would miss your or my mobile <laughs> phone. <laughs> and the only thing they'd probably see is still yeah. the pyramids. So they are one of the wonders of the world, and I think there's an enduring fascination with them. And I hope High is a really interesting portal into reading, learning, exploring, enjoying. Mm. Because he was a real adventurer, wasn't he? The fifth Earl with, with his love. Great traveller. Yeah, yeah. Look mm. forward to reading more about it. That's uh, wonderful. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. When you visit Highclere Castle, I hope you enjoy it just as much as we have this morning, just really exploring all of the wonders of the castle and the grounds. We look forward to seeing you next week.